date. Date with the cat? I don't want to do this. I think this is the last mission of the entire game. What is this? Zero. Okay, this is the cat one. You find Pocket sitting outside Bravora. It seems closed at, for the afternoon. As soon as you arrive, he stands and walks up to meet you. Pocket rubs his head against the bottom of your legs, purring. He puts his front paws on your legs, looking up into your face. Meow. Meow. What is it, boy? Nice kitty. Do you want something? Pocket suddenly darts around you, pawing you painfully as if in a game of tag. He runs towards the restaurant and you notice something hanging from his mouth. It's your wallet! Oh, he- what a little thief! The cat took your wallet. Chase after him. Hey, chase after him. He pushes his way into the restaurant door. How did he know it would be unlocked? You follow him, determined to get your wallet back. I'll pay for food for him. I don't care. You're alone in the restaurant except a tired looking man you assume is the owner. Hmm? Yes, hello, can I help you? Did you see a cat? Are you single? Sorry, I'll leave. Did you see a cat? Mm -hmm. A cat? No, certainly not. This is an eating establishment. You see your wallet on the floor of the restaurant. You go to pick it up. All the money is still inside. A clamor rises from the kitchen. Something goes awry. Now what? Pocket runs past. A giant fish hanging out of his mouth. Ugh. Oh, Lord. I suppose we should call the animal control. He's already out the door. Apologize. Pay for the fish. Cheese it. Pay for the fish. The money is only half of it, you know. I source my ingredients carefully. Jess, mm -hmm. please leave and make sure that your animal does not come back. I could pay $10. You hurry all out of the door. Outside, you don't see Pocket anywhere. You head home. Ow. But after just a block, you hear happy meowing. Looking around, you find Pocket enjoying the, his fish immensely. You little thief. Finishers knock enemies back further. Okay. It looks like he saved half of it for you. Untouched. No thanks. Trying to bribe me? I'm gonna eat it. Trying to bribe me? Pocket flicks his tail ca casually. Meow. Would you offer a gift? Yeah. Uh. Give this plant. He loves the plant, apparently. Pocket's eyes light up as he gnaws on a stubby, succulent leaf. Abruptly, he freezes and his ears flatten against his head. A growl starts in his throat. The cat from before stalks into view, eyes fixed on Pocket. It walks up and starts eating Pocket's fish. Pocket doesn't seem to know how to react to the this fish thief. He's frozen, eyes wide. Defend your prize. Maybe you can be friends. Hey, you cat, get away. Maybe you can be friends. You pet Pocket to calm him, though he continues to growl as his fish is eaten. Eventually, the fish is gone, and the street cat looks up, staring at Pocket. The cat leaps at Pocket's throat. The two become a writhing mess, mass of fur and claws. It's cl quickly clear that Pocket is outmatched. Pocket is nearly pinned, but squirms free and runs away at full tilt. The street cat sits down and burns, cleaning its claws free of orange fur. Shoo it away. Try to pep it, pet it, kick it. Shoo it away. The cat flicks her tail with a hiss and stalks away. I'm not gonna kick a cat. You home? You head home. Holy smokes. Dude, what happened? Looks like he got beat up. There was another cat. Maybe he shouldn't go outside. Sorry. There was another cat. Well, obviously. He's gonna go do what he wants, I guess. I just hope he's more careful. Pocket is missing, and I found a pair of brass knuckles in my kitchen. Is this a threat? Did you take my cat hostage? The knuckles are your cat. Don't worry. I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, Pocket's back anyway. Sorry for the accusation. I guess he was sleeping somewhere here, and now he wants to go outside. I'll watch him. So, there. He's out. And looks like he's headed for the museum. Have fun. So I already got him to level 5. Oh, he's at level 3, sorry. You find Pocket sitting outside the Verona Beach Museum. He's looking at you unexpectedly. Hey, what's up? 
He flicks his tail nonchalantly. His fur looks freshly clean and brushed. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, no. You decide not to give a gift right now. The door opens suddenly. Pocket jumps out of the way, eyes wide with curiosity. Oh, if it isn't the elusive Lola. What luck. I wanted to discuss our next date. Pocket is suddenly on full alert as if someone had stepped on his tail. God, stand back, Lola. I know this cat. He is a dangerous wild beast. Because you left him in the dungeon? Meow. Meow. Ugh. Eric tries to kick a pocket, but the cat sprints past into the museum. They do not allow dirty animals in places of sophistication. Not your problem. You hate cats? Never heard them. Ah. Eric flinches back from your fury. You imagine his toe would be between his legs if he had one. You brush past him into the museum lobby. I think that was the most harsh I've been to, Eric. You enter just in time to see Pocket's tail disappear into the prehistoric exhibit. You follow, browsing the dinosaur bones and surreptitiously checking out, checking nooks and crannies. Eventually you find him gazing at a saber-toothed cat skeleton the size of a panther. Study the skeleton. Surprise him. I gotta surprise him. You sneak up behind Pocket and jump out at him. He glances at you with pity. It would seem you are not sneaky enough. Pocket stares at the saber tooth skeleton labeled Celadon Fatalis, California State Fossil. Pocket releases a small wheezy sigh at the Celadon. Is this your role model? Is this your great grandma? <laughs> Love Rick 4. Let's see. Persistent. Immobilize. Last longer. Finishers have wider arcs. Wider arcs. Wow. Pocket blinks in surprise and stares again at the Celadon skeleton with wider eyes. He takes a deep breath, chest expanding with apparent power and confidence. Pocket turns on his heels, primly walking back to the lobby. Security guards approach and he loses his cool, scampering out and down the street. You browse the rest of the exhibit before heading home. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Jeez, guy. Yo, what happened? Pocket's acting really weird. He's more confident. He's more educated. He's more confident. Well, I wish he'd stop attacking my feet. My slippers are destroyed. Jeez. Makes sense. Makes sense. So I'm going to quickly go back into the dunge. Got some leveling up to do. Oh, wait a second. Another date. You pet cats for a little while. While with. Wow, let me restart that. You pet cats for a little while with Seven. He seems on edge. I get upset about thinking about how psychics die and Chronosite and in that movie, you know? Are you okay? Yeah, it was sad. Uh -uh. No, it was predictable. Psychics are always sacrificing themselves. It's dumb. He would have been a way better hero. Hmm. But if he took over for the protagonist, that would make him a villain, right? Or a spinoff. So maybe it's possible. Sung Wu says the name change wasn't his idea and our agent talked him into it. He even invited me to make a duel with him. Lucky Seven. Like, I don't know if he means it. Meanwhile, I've been thinking about going solo without Sung Wu. It'd be uh. tough. But if I'm ever going to take the risk and go solo, now is probably the, my best chance. But if it, that fails, I could lose everything I've worked so hard for. Sung Wu is the more popular one, so a duo would be more guaranteed to success. Seed. Seven releases a long, une unsteady breath. Uh. My thoughts keep going like this, around and around. How can I make a decision like this? Do you trust them? What do you really want? Why did you get into showbiz? Do you trust them? Mm -hmm. I trust them. I don't trust our agent. And Zoom Wu can be impressionable. Is there anything else I should consider in my decision making? What do you really want? Why did you get into showbiz? I can't decide for you. If it was me... Why did you get into showbiz? Well, it was sort of an accident. Show Wu was discovered by a talent scout first. And he dragged me into it because he, we used to dance together to music videos for fun. Hmm. I'm only the Blade Generate and Blade Generation because of him. Maybe I'm being ungrateful. 
Is there anything else I should consider? What do you really mm. want? I guess I really what I I want to be really good at something and I want someone to love. Is there anything else I should consider? If it was me, if it were you, what would you do? Please be honest. I would go solo. I'd duel with Sun Wu. He really wants to go solo. I'd go solo. You feel like this is an important decision. Seven is listening carefully. Definitely solo. Definitely <laughs> solo. Seven erupts in laughter like a weight suddenly lifted from him. Well, there goes my last excuse for cowardice. If you think I should go do it, then pro I probably should. It feels good to think about. I've been a sidekick for so long. As much as I worry about my anxieties, maybe this is my turning point. New love rank. Love rank number five. Catchy. Chain lightning has a chance to immediately fire a second time from enemies it hits. Oh! Sweet. The beginning of a new age. Shun Wu's not going to like it, but he doesn't have to. This is my life, our life, maybe. It actually makes me look forward to going on tour. <laughs> Surprise! Is that Sun Wu? It must be. Did I hear something about a tour? Does that mean you made a decision? Seven sits up straighter as someone familiar looking approaches your table. You realize you've seen his face on Blade Generation posters. What? Sun Wu, what? How did you know I was here? Sun Wu glances at Seven's phone. Oh. Oh, right. Our agent's tracking device. Well, now that you're here, uh, Sun Wu, this is Lola, the wielder I've been talking about. Lola, Sun Wu. Sun Wu shrugs. Hey. Nice to meet you, Lola. But this isn't about you, right? I heard he cut up some apples for you, so I guess it's serious. As long as you help Seven make the right decision, we're on the same side. Um. Yes, yeah, so I thought about it from every angle, and there was only one way everything made sense. I have to go on my own. I had to try it, or I'll regret it. Huh? I guess I knew this would happen sooner or later. I was holding you back. So Wu takes a deep breath. Everyone in Blade Generation will miss you, but I hope we can still hang out. <laughs> I'm going to be your biggest fan. You watch. Just promise me we can still watch stupid movies together. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Sun Wu is so awesome. Jeez. He took that so much e better than I thought he would. Sun Wu rushes Seven and takes him into a bear hug. Seven wipes his eyes discreetly. Ah, oh, jeez. I always forget how strong you are. Can't breathe, man. Hmm. Sorry, bro. Yesterday was arm day at the gym. Hmm. So I guess I need to figure out my brand. Soon, soon. For now, let's celebrate and get out of here before anyone recognizes us. Yeah, dressed like that, you guys are going to be so recognizable. <laughs> Seven smiles. You feel yourself smiling back without realizing you're doing it. You spend the evening discussing logistics. Eventually, you head home. Interesting. I wish it let me give him a gift after he leveled up. Now I have to go back into the dungeon to level him up. Hey, I know it's a little shy, but I miss you already. I hate it here without you. Let's hang out again soon. I'll give a heart emoji. See you in the dungeon, I hope. Dunge. Let me quickly level them up like I want it. Wait, what? I gotta wait for another invite? Not cool. I thought he was already leveled. Always start at the first floor. Fear of intimacy. Wow. Yep. Very <laughs> Nothing. Pocket eyes the heart balloon suspiciously. They symbolize love. They're fun to hunt. You bat a balloon at a balloon and it flies away. Weightless. Pocket widens his eyes, impressed. He rubs his head hesitantly against your chin. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Uh. I 
eyeliner. I don't know. Pocket nuzzles eyeliner in a clear approval. You reach down to pet him, but he quickly transformed, dodging your affection. I guess I could give them anything now. Give me that date so I could level you up finally. <clears throat> Sawyer the Glaive. Okay. I smell a small venues. I love small venues. Seeing a musician up close is cooler than a big arena. Looks like there isn't a gig here now, though. Monsters are probably bad at booking. Would you prefer? Yeah, let's give a gift. Uh, Sawyer so probably like some gloves. Oh, cool! Fine leather gloves. I like it a lot. Thanks, Lola. Mars and McQueen are from Verona Beach, so maybe I'll see them here someday, even though they're famous. I saw them. Who? I'll go with you. I saw them. Wow, that's amazing. You saw Mars and McQueen? And you know, a rose of Venus. Jeez, I never told you that. I had so much to learn about being cool. They give us you a shy smile. Should we continue back into the dunes? Sure. I gotta let myself die. So another relaxing area. Oh, fancy. I've never been a very important person past a velvet rope. Though I don't know if this counts really. There's a rope, but is it really a VIP section if there isn't a bouncer? Just enjoy it. There are monsters. Yeah, but the monsters didn't exactly let us in or check a list of names. Oh, well. They settle into a cushion, relaxing as best they can. So now what? What do you do in a VIP section? You just sit here, being very important? Would you like to offer a gift? No, not this time. You decide not to give a gift right now. Uh... This place is kind of boring. Let's go fight back to fighting. What do you say? Yeah. I gotta let myself die. Kill me! Kill me! Don't let them get the upper hand! Hurry up! Thank you! I just want to be out of there. I'm first rate! Go home. I had to let myself die. <sighs> Wait, what's going on? So I have talks with people now. I have a little present for you. I don't know if you like the beach, but meet me there. Maybe 7 p.m. Okay. See you soon. Oh, he's going to reach level six. Yeah. Pocket worried he's looking for a fight. I'm letting Pocket out, by the way. Worried he's looking for a fight. If so, he'll win. I'll keep him safe. I hope so. Oh, okay. Pockets out. Good luck finding him. I will. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I already owe you one or two or three, but I have to ask. I'm in trouble with my professor. Can you come back? Can you come back me up at the college? I'm not good at standing up for myself. I'll be there. Building H, room five. Looks like. In the next episode, I have plenty of dates to go on. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me this round. And we are so close to finishing this game. I feel like the date to take down Masamune is going to be the last thing in the game. So, I have not prepared for that yet. That's why I'm trying to max everyone's level before then. And then we can do it. So, thank you so much, guys. No matter what your time zone may be. I, I do have two more items to put in my shelf for toys. So I don't know if there's two more dun dunges. But no matter what your time zone may be, guys, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.